the Argonauts and the Eskimos have not met in a meaningful football game in quite some time. So we look forward to this one tonight. It's a hot, muggy night at CNE Stadium in Toronto, and we expect a very important football game as far as the Edmonton Eskimos are concerned. As Leo Cahill points out, the Eskimos have to get back on track, and it's very tight in the Western Division of the Canadian Football League. We'll be back with the opening kickoff to Exhibition Stadium in Toronto right after this. A full house at Exhibition Stadium Toronto tonight, but a very enthusiastic welcome for the Toronto Argonauts. Uh, are the Argos back on track? Are the fans uh, ready to support them, Ron? I believe so. They're expecting around 45,000. Should be a good football game. The Argonauts, they know what happened the first time. They don't want it to happen the second. They'll be ready. And it looks like they're uh, fulfilling what we said that they would. It looks like they got the six defensive backs in there. Uh, and it looks like on the first play that they went to Lumsden and uh, Lumsden carried the ball in there pretty well, so maybe they're going to run a little bit like we thought. Ten-yard return for Carinci. John, the Argonauts have pretty good field position right here. They've started off holding the Edmonton Eskimos on that first sequence of downs, which is important. Now, what they do with the ball right now is extremely important, too. Third down for the Argos. Andrew Sishin back at his 45-yard line, an impressive average. Nothing wrong with the design of that play. It was just poorly thrown. It was in there, Ron. It was just a matter of getting it connected. That's Gary Hayes to the five and no farther. Argonauts with lots of enthusiasm. Stop Gary Hayes. The Argos feel they have recovered the football. And they have. Happiness in Toronto. The Argonauts pick up a fumble by Gary Hayes. Threatened the score early in the opening quarter. was those special teams and you see them coming down here right now Hamelock makes the first hit right there and it looks like Moen gets on the ball and that's a big break for the Argonauts and like I said this first part of this ball game is very important to them and they're moving all right Argos at the Eskimo seven yard line with a first and goal to go Cedric Minter He plays into the Eskimo end zone. And the Argonauts take advantage quickly of their first break of the evening. A simple pitch out right here to Minner, and he cuts back against the flow, against the pursuit, finds the opening, and just runs to daylight. Barely McLeod, touched. McLeod got a hand on him, but it wasn't good enough, and the Argos are out in front. And I don't know about the rest of the fans in these stands, but uh, the three broadcasters were up on their feet for that one. Andrew Sishin will kick it off. Cole is back, 35, along with Kehoe and Joe Holloman. Sean Kehoe. A little bit of a scene as Kehoe fights to the 25. Moan, 36, to make the tackle for the Argos. And Moan has been very active in there. He's down there recovering that fumble, and now down there making that key tackle, and they got him on the 25-yard line. Argos start from their 35. Holloway, swing back. That's Paul Pearson for the 45. Very close to the first down. The Eskimos are first down. They trail the Argos 7 0. Still have half the first quarter to play in Toronto. On the sideline, some coaching for the Argonaut offense. On the field, the Eskimo offense with a first down. From their 36 yard line, Moon in trouble. Are down. Rusty Olsen, 79 for the second time, breaking through on Warren Moon. The indication is holding against the Eskimos. Second and seven, Argos from their 38. Greer, and he has room and speed. Out from behind, Holloman. Hayes over to help out, but Holloman made the touchdown saving tackle on Terry Greer. Pickup for the Argonauts. 
this this is a great play right here. He gets everything away, and then he stop, turns back to Greer. There's no safety man in the middle. He's got the lineman coming out to block on Holloman, and now it's a race up the field, and you don't see Mike McLeod ever come back, and he's the middle safety because he was all the way over with that man in motion. 